Hello, in the next uh, video I want to show you how to grow your own tomatoes from seeds um, all the tips, everything, we'll do a few videos while the tomatoes are growing and uh, you'll have all the information how to do it yourself my name is Ofer, I'm from uh, Best for Garden and I would like to share with you information and different gardening solutions um, I try to grow tomatoes myself I'm, uh, garden designer and agronomist and with, uh, I moved to the UK five years ago and I tried to grow tomatoes here in the UK with no success well the tomatoes were big but green at the end of the season the plants died so I actually didn't manage to eat them or do anything with it and this is why today I went to my friend Justin who is a very keen gardener and I'm going to learn from him all the secrets all the little tips that I'm going to share with you. Uh. Many thanks, please share with us. <coughs> yeah? Very good. So, Justin, you're a very keen gardener. Eh? So often. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very keen gardener. Normally, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you have a beautiful uh, greenhouse. So, yeah. how, how do we start? It's quite, uh, I would say, it's a winter day outside. February, yeah, nice. So I suppose how I start is I think about what I'm trying to achieve. Okay. And the, what I try and do is um, I think about growing the soil first before I grow the plant. Okay. All right. So how do we do that? So you think about the information, you think about what the plant needs. So it okay. needs nutrients, it needs air, it needs water. And so you're trying to give them something that that mixture that gives them everything they have brilliant brilliant so let's see so today you, you we start with sowing the seeds mm -hmm. the yeah well actually first of all i started by getting this getting the um compost ready so i don't use peat okay all right i don't use peat because i don't think it's right so i use my own sort of my own compost that's out there but if i gave I used that, which is this. That's much far too sticky. Okay. Yeah. So I have to lighten it. So that's the compost from outside. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so that's that's just that's that's it's been uh, what's the word? I've picked out the stones and the twigs and things. Okay. But that's it. So what I do is I lighten it with coir, which is this. So yeah. that's the coir, coir, so you can get it in blocks. Or yeah, barrels. in blocks. So I buy, I buy a buy big block, stick it in the wheelbarrow, leave it for a day with water, absorbs the water, looks like this. Perfect. Okay. And the other thing that it does, which the compost doesn't have, is also puts in carbon. Okay, brilliant. So carbon is an important part of growing plants. Yeah. Um, so you put carbon in, and this is the carbon. Put the carbon, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. The coir, that's the fibres of the coconuts. coconuts. Sure. Let's yeah. make the whole things yeah. lighter and airy as well. Exactly. Yeah. So it's carbon and, and air, and the final bit is um, perlite, the white stuff. Okay, brilliant. Um, so I add perlite as well to make sure I've got enough air in there as well. Brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Um, and then it's just a case of sorry, this stuff is easy, you just fill in the pots. So am I going to put in, I've got four different types of tomato okay um, reason being the chances are that one will do very well two will be okay and one won't work okay so I spread I spread the risk so yeah. I have different varieties spread the risk and I yeah. have four containers that I plant stuff in okay that's brilliant that's brilliant so shall I do that yes yeah, sure let's let's have a go yeah right. yeah so very easy just Fill it up, knock it off, um, and all I do then is make a hole in the middle. And I'll put two seeds in each one, so effectively that'll be one variety, another variety, another variety, another variety. Oh, that's good. Um, so I end up with I'll end up with three plants per variety, and hopefully. So yes, oh. so let's see what, what we got. So you make labels. I make labels, yeah. So we have crystal. That's an F1. 
Sun Gold, that's a, that's a, that was new last year, that's an F1. Red Cherry is just a, I say bog standard, it's just, um, I don't know what it is, but it looked okay. nice. And the Sweet Million is uh, an F1, and that's long trusses, so it's should be Brilliant. should be nice. I've tried I've tried various. All I do is I try various varieties um, to see what works best and what works doesn't best. Brilliant. Yeah. So actually, because these are quite cheap, so I've got three of those in this pole. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Price for tomato seeds per weight is more than gold. Ah, well, it, it, <laughs> that's interesting. I mean, what I've done in the past is I've actually saved tomato seed. You can save tomato seed really easily. Mm -hmm. um, I've done that in the past. Uh, which one was that? That was red cherry. So you, yeah, you can't do it with F ones, but you can do it with um, like Tigerella, the sort of the old varieties. Okay. And um, yeah, you take out the seeds, put it in a jam jar, fill it with water, leave it for. So if you take this, variety. so this is a Sun Gold F F1, and I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve seeds. Twelve That's six. what I've got. Um, so you hand <laughs> you handle these with a lot more love and attention than you yeah. do with the other ones. But have you said that? It's fine. So you've, I'm only looking. I'm only looking for three plants. You see. Okay. I'm with three viable plants. And that's it. So that goes in there, that goes in there. Label, from gold. Um, so it's important to start now, in, in early in the year, to get, yeah. to get the crop. Um, reason being, yes. I mean, I, this is early mid, early mid Feb, and I. I do it now because I can, because I've got heating in here, and I've got, um, it means you can get going, really. Okay, so um, I have a new greenhouse, it doesn't got heating. Right. So we're going to use boxes that are heated on the bottom. Yeah, like this, um, yeah. Like this one, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, we, yeah. We're going to start in there, so it is important to start right now to so things will be ready. If you, yeah, if you don't do it now, basically your family will complain that they haven't got tomatoes in June. Okay. This way I can get, I can get, have tomatoes literally being picked from the middle of June. Um, that's so that's, that's the, that's the theory, yeah. And the other thing is that with the varieties, because when I try to grow tomatoes, well, I t we tried the outdoor. Yep. And uh, September arrived, we had big tomatoes, green. Yeah. October, November, December, and they were still green. Yeah. So we could never use these tomatoes. So literally, I didn't manage to grow tomatoes. Oh, I managed to grow big green tomatoes. <laughs> um, that's, and that, I'm afraid, is the penalty we have for living in the UK and living in the Midlands. Um, you yeah. just haven't got enough heat. If you go to, to France or wherever and you see them you know, outside or it's fantastic flavours, that's because this, this, the sun, the heat is, is there for them. So uh, I'm putting, all I'm doing is I'm putting you know, three seeds per station effectively. And that's it. And label, and what I do now, quick, quick water, and put them in the incubator, and that'll be it. So it's not, it's not a big deal um, at all. So you'd expect to, I'd expect to see these coming up in about uh, four or five days. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So light water, nothing too, too much. You don't just want to soak it. Um, but the point is, because the, the compost is light, if there's too much, it'll just fall out. And I don't, the, the beds that go into, and these, these will come out of here in a month's time, and they go straight into the beds behind me, and that's where they'll stay. That's okay. And then they don't, they don't come out. So, <coughs> tuck them up, put them in there.
Brilliant. So just here's Justin. <laughs> I'll just show the beds where they're gonna be. That's the greenhouse. Brilliant. Many thanks, Justin. My pleasure.